Here we have a Mellanox 200 GB network adapter that came in for repair. The card looks something like this, a very expensive card, and the customer actually mailed over two cards and not one. The model number of the card is CX54106A-HCAT. Look it up. Let's read what the customer wrote and why the cards were mailed over. Customer wrote, I have few Mellanox neck cards that have missing broken caps, capacitors. That's all what the customer wrote. So we have to figure out where the broken caps are or where the missing caps are. No indication where the caps are missing or broken on the board. Let's take a look at card number one. And like I said, the customer mailed over two cards. This one looks a bit different, bigger. Probably not the same model number. And that's the one that we're going to be working on right now. I mean, looking at the card with the naked eye, it's impossible to see anything. All the components are microscopic, so we have to go under the microscope. We'll start with the front side of the board. Right here. Right now I'm looking at all the points on the board to figure out where we have missing capacitors. If we do have a missing capacitor, we're not going to know what the value is. I do not know what R18 is or what R18 represents. It's a resistor, but what value resistor? This information we do not know. Usually components go missing on the bottom of the card. We see this a lot in video cards. Everything looks good here. We'll flip the board shortly. That's not a missing component. You can tell solder is factory. Solder is factory. Same here, same here, same here you can tell when a component is broken or missing. Factory soldering on the left also, right here. Front of the board, we do not have any missing or broken components. Let's flip the board and see what's going on on the back here. I do see signs of something here. Right there, I got it. We see a missing capacitor right on the bottom and looks like a missing pad as well. We do not know where that pad connects, but we're gonna try to figure it out and we're gonna figure out the value of the cap as well. We see two caps here, two caps here, two caps here, two caps, two caps, two caps. So all those caps are similar in value. We can measure one of them and we can replace this one. And the bottom end of the cap probably connects with one of those pins. We have to figure it out and then since we do not have the slightest trace left on here, we're not going to be able to add the pad strip. So we're going to have to run the wire from this end of the cap, probably to one of those pins here. We're going to measure and see, try to figure it out. Is that the only missing cap on the board? It looks like we have two more missing caps. I do not know if we have missing traces here or not. We most likely do. It looks like we have missing traces here as well. How are we going to fix this cap? We have completely two missing pads. And the component itself is microscopic. Those caps are important. And they can break the circuit. If we measure both ends of the cap, meter and diode mode. Let's measure this end of the cap. We get a reading. And we're going to get a reading when the card is plugged in. On the bottom here. Let me grind some more. I do not think that we're going to be able to get to the trace under here 
you are looking at a microscopic via. Where does this one go to? We do not know where this cap goes to. How are we going to solder that cap in place here? We got it. I need to grind some more. What if we measure from here? Right there, it connects right here. And a tiny bit of solder paste right over here. All right. And now if we measure We do have a reading. Let's measure from here. We do have a connection, very nice. Now what we can do is we can use a circular pad strip Yeah, this one looks good. So let's solder this one on. That's one. And let's do the other one. Let's grab one more. We're going to put it right here. All right, so we just restored the pads here, pads here, and I do not think that we did this one here. Let me see if we can grind and restore that pad. If not, then we're going to have to run a wire. We should be able to do it.
And we did the last one. Very nice. Now all we have to do is figure out the value of the cap and we can grab a similar one and solder it onto the board and finalize the process. We're going to use our LCR meter in capacitance mode. 226 nanofarads. Two hundred and fourteen nanofarads. We got it. And where are we going to get that component from? We're going to grab it from our SMD books, capacitor size four hundred two, right here. If you don't already have those books, you can purchase them directly from our site. We have ten different books: five books for resistors, five books for capacitors, all sizes, two hundred one to twelve hundred six. Let's search for. 220 nanofarads. If we flip to the last page of the 402 capacitor book, third row from the bottom, we do have 220 NF nanofarads. And we're going to grab the capacitors from here. We need three of them. We can grab them one by one so we do not lose them. Some of the caps we probably lost when trying to grab one. They snap out very easy. And that cap is soldered. Let's add some flux. And we're going to gently go over it. Let's measure and see if we still have a connection. Meter in diet mode and we have a connection right here and we do awesome and do we have a connection from the bottom and we do great now we're gonna mask that component so it's solid in place we'll do the masking later let's go ahead and do this one UPS just came in with a lot of packages. We just got a large shipment of fume extractors, the NF.Fume Northridge Fix fume extractors, and the NF.B tweezers. Let's open up this tweezer, and maybe we can use it here. It opens up like this, like you have a piece of diamond, and the tweezer is protected via this circular thing that wraps around the tweezer, so it arrives safely, and then you have the protection in the front here. Every tweezer is quality checked to be aligned perfectly and it looks something like this. Let's go ahead and see how it's like under the microscope. And look at this. Look at this. Look at the alignment on this tweezer. Wow. Look at the difference between the one that I was using, this here, and this. And we have our logo, the Northridge Fix dash B for bent, uh, NF dash B, and we also have NF dash S for straight. We're going to be using the bent one now, and you're not going to find anything that's finer than this or more aligned than this one here. Like I said, every tweezer was quality checked, and you see the type of protection it comes in. Hard plastic box, and then you have the protection on the tip in the front via this piece right here. And then you have the circular protection in the middle so the tweezer does not move during shipping. Amazing. Amazing. Now I feel like I have much more control with this tweezer. Let me add some flux onto the tip so we can easily 
stick that component onto the tip. Just like that. Add some flux. Look at how nicely I can grab that component, that microscopic component. You cannot believe how small and tiny that component is, but I was able to grab it with that tweezer. I have full control and I feel in control. camera went out of focus because I'm pushing down on the board since I do not have three hands I cannot hold the tweezer with one hand hot air with the other hand and then adjust the microscope with the third hand I cannot do that let's measure to see if we have a connection via diode mode and we do Awesome, 0 0.45 voltage drop. And we're gonna measure from the bottom here. We do, we have a connection, amazing. So we soldered two caps, one here, one here, and we still have one more. And then we're gonna deem the card a fix. Where's the other one? Right here. And now all we need is one more capacitor and we should be good. Just imagine we did not have those SMD books, where would we get that component from? We have to order it, we have to wait for it to come. And just imagine we are doing this for every SMD component that we need, for every capacitor or for every resistor, for every device that we are working on. We have to order a specific value capacitor or resistor. It's a nightmare. Those books are a lifesaver. If you do not have them, you can log into Northridge Fix and buy them. And I'm not saying this so you can buy them. I'm saying this because the books are useful and you're going to use them every day if you fix electronics. Just like the microscope, the ring light, anti-glare light, the tweezer, flux, braid. You need those. You need them. You cannot go without them. You need a good hot air station like the Atom one that we sell. You need a good soldering station like the T3B station that we sell. All those are money well spent. Okay, very nice. Now we're gonna measure. The bottom pad was already there. We did not replace it, but we're gonna measure anyway in diet mode. We have a connection and we're going to measure from the bottom here or from the top as I have the board oriented to one of the pads to one of the lines on the card down here. Which one is it? It looks like we do not have a connection. Let's go over this one more time. Okay, I push down on it and let's check right now. And it looks like we don't have a connection. We don't have a connection. You cannot win all of them. The trace was not visible enough to make a connection with that circular pad strip, but that's okay. End of the day, you are dealing with a microscopic component, so it takes a lot of precision work to get this done. And we were lucky enough to fix the other two. So let's run a small, tiny wire. We're going to run it where? We're going to run it right here on this one. 
right next to the 8, this one here. Just from the tip of that pad, and we're going to run it all the way to the cap. Right here. Add some flux. And I'm currently using the NF dot mini pen. And I'm also using the jumper wire that we find on our site. Viewers are going to ask. So everything that you need, you can purchase directly from our site. Everything is stocked. And all orders usually ship out same day. We're done. Now all we have to do is apply UV mask to secure those components and to mask them. And now all we have to do is use our UV lamp, our Northridge Fix 10 watt UV lamp. I'm going to point the lamp on the board and the lamp is going to shut off by itself after 20 seconds. Maybe we can go over it twice, 20 seconds and 20 seconds. The light just went off by itself. Let's go over it one more time. Because we have a capacitor on the far right and one on the far left. So I just switched the UV lamp to the other side. And I got UV mask on my finger. I'm going to finish all the repairs that I have on my bench today. And then I need to go over my bench because I'm not finding time to clean my bench. And look at all the checks I have on my bench here. And all those checks are from expedited service. We ask the customers if they request expedited service, they mail a check for the expedited service. Look at the checks that we got today. 95, 95, 95, 95, 95, 95, 95. Everybody's choosing expedited service. Everyone. Every single person. How can we do everything expedited? The person who mailed over this card that we worked on just now, he paid for expedited. It's been in our shop for, what, maybe three weeks. We're going to refund back his expedited. We were not able to get to it on time. If we do not get to your item within seven days and you paid for expedited, we're going to refund back that amount. We do mention expedited service is between one to seven days. But everybody is choosing expedited. We're all done. For this one, we soldered a wire to the very tip of the pad. And where's the other one? There's one here. And finally, we have this one here. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.